Hello and welcome. My name is Austin and this is a tutorial video on how to get connected to our new Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved server on Windows. In order to get started, your system must have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and is running Windows 64-bit. So to check that you meet those requirements, go to the file browser, hit this PC, and then hit System Properties at the top of the window. And you'll see that the installed memory is at least or equal to 4 gigabytes of RAM. And the system type is indeed 64-bit. So once you've checked that you have met these requirements, you're going to need to install the latest version of Java, specifically the 64-bit version. Go to the search engine and search up Java. You'll see that the first link that comes up is a download link of java.com. You don't want to download Java from here because it will automatically get you the 32-bit version and then if you do have that version, Feed the Beast won't run. So what you want to do is search Java Oracle and then you'll see a link for Java SE downloads. Hit that and scroll down until you see the download link for the JRE. On this page, you'll see there's a couple versions. There's the Runtime Environment 8U101 and 8U102. The latter version is the newer version, so hit Accept License Agreement and scroll down to the Windows 64-bit offline download link and click that link next to it to download it. Open the installer once it's finished downloading and run through the install process. Okay, once you have successfully installed Java, close the setup, and then we're going to download the Feed the Beast launcher. So Google Feed the Beast. And on this page, you'll see a few download links in the middle. You don't want to download the main link because that will give you the cursed client version of the launcher, which is meant for the latest version of their mod packs. But Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved is running an, on an old version of Minecraft and the legacy launcher just happens to work a little bit better with it. So hit legacy windows, save that anywhere and open the launcher. Once the launcher is open, it will ask you to set up in a custom install folder, but for now you could keep it at the default setting. Hit apply. When the launcher is up, first things first, make sure you create a profile, which is basically a way to log into your Minecraft account. Okay, once you're logged into your account, go to the options tab and make sure that the memory allocation, aka the RAM maximum limit, is set to at least two gigabytes or more in order to make sure that Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved runs perfectly fine with all of those mods installed. Another thing to note while you're on this tab is the Java version. Make sure it's the version that you just installed. If you happen to have other Java versions installed on your system, including 32-bit, the Feed the Beast launcher will sometimes default to that version and the mod pack will just not run. So make sure you go to the advanced options and hit the setting for the Java path and make sure you select the latest version that you just downloaded. Then head to the mod packs tab and at the top you'll see Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. And the version you'll want to download is version 2.5.0, which is the current version that is running on the server at the time of this video. Hit launch. Okay, once the mod pack has finally loaded up, hit the multiplayer button and we are going to add the game byline server address. Hit add server and for the server name, it could be anything. In this case, I'll just set it to game byline, feed the beast. And for the server address, it's ts.gamebyline.com colon 25565. Hit done. And this is how you get started with Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved and how to get connected to the Game Byline server. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the server.